Hi, everybody. Lori from Lori Book Trials here. Uh, I got a whole bunch of books to show you. So I got a book haul. Of course, the first one, if you guys watch my 24-hour vlog, you'll know what it is because I've been reading it. And I'm almost done with it. Yay! I only have, like, two more chapters. But it's Noria Roberts, of course, year one. I am really happy that I'm almost done with it. It's so good. That's all I'm going to say. Let me find the next one. One of these are going to be a book outlet order. I think I got like five or six books from it, but we'll get to that at last. And then I got number two of Nora Roberts. Which is called A Blood and Bone. I don't know why, but I got like an advanced reader's edition of it. <laughs> like I didn't even know I'd be able to get that. I don't. I didn't think they could sell it, but maybe... It was a, I don't know. I don't know why, but yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to read it this month. If I do, it ain't going to be right away. It'll be a little bit after. Um, maybe for, uh, even though I'm not, at partic I mean, didn't make a TBR for it. I am going to try to read a couple of books that are sequels. So, so maybe I'll read this for one of the sequel ones. We shall see. And then... As you guys know, I've been getting all the, all these books. So I finally got Courting Darkness by Robin LaFevers. How are you saying your name? I want to start this series. Pretty soon. Well, you know, the first one. This is a duology. This one here, but I have the other one, which of course, <laughs> the the other series, which I, why am I forgetting the name of it? But anyway. Oh, Grave Mercy. I got the Grave Grave Mercy ones. I don't know what the, uh, the, like, the series name is or whatever you want to say. You know, how they have everything. But anyways, look how pretty. And I really love this. Look how pretty look, the um, design looks on here. Excuse me. What? I feel like I'm getting an allergy. And it just looks like this. It's just really pretty. And I don't know if there's a map or not. Let's see. Yep, there is a map. I couldn't remember. Because I took a quick look at it and let, look at it and then I put it on my, you know, my thing of when I was going to get this book. So I didn't want to do like 50 million book hauls, even though I always do. But I'm not going to talk what it's about. It just says the wolves are always waiting. So pretty. I'm so excited about that this whole series and then we got a very popular one that everybody's talking about so i want to try to read it and see if i can get on the crazy train of it and that's red rising by paris brown paris brown yeah it says ender katniss and now um ender katniss and now darrow scott siegler It says, Earth is dying, Dar Daro is a red, a miner in the interior of Mars. His mission is to extract enough precious elements to one day tame the surface of the planet and allow humans to live on it. The reds are humanity's last hope. Do, 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 do. And I guess his wife dies? I don't think it's a... I don't think that's a spoiler because I think everybody knows that his wife dies and he goes all crazy and, well, you know, he wants to, um, like, become a gold, I think. Yeah, he wants to, if, 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 Philly, if, 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 you know, like, pretend like he's one. I don't know how to say that word. Inf infl infiltrate? Infiltrate, something like that. I don't know how you say it. But anyways, looks like it's going to be really good. Look, I'm really excited to read it. I hope I like it like everybody else seems to. I'm going to get on that board, that train. I got this. I know yesterday I said I was going to get two middle grade ones from, from, um, 
from Amazon today that I forgot one isn't it a middle grade. It's a it's a young adult, but we'll show that in a minute. But I got this one, Ice Wolves by Amy Kaufman. Ice wolves and scorch dragons live deeply <clears throat> separate lives on the Isle of Valen. So when 12-year-old orphan Anders takes, <clears throat> excuse me, one, <clears throat> excuse me, let me find it again, element form and his twin sister, Rhina, Ryan, takes another, he wonders if they are even related. <clears throat> family, <clears throat> excuse me, family are not Rihanna, or Rianne is still his best friend, and now she's been claimed and kidnapped by cruel, brutal dragons. Determined to rescue her, Anders enlists at, enlists at Alpher Academy, a, <coughs> excuse me, a formidable school for young wolves that value loyalty to the pack above all else. But for Anders, loyalty is more complicated than blind obedience, and friendship is the most powerful shape-shifting force of all. So, it looks really good, and it's short, and it's mid-grade, middle-grade March, so I haven't read one book yet. Don't worry, you guys, I will. I'm debating, I might read this one, or I might read Arura, Aru, Aru, Aru Shaw and the End of Times, End of Time, because I still want to read that before the for I can tell if I um if I want the next one when it comes out in April. I believe it comes out April 30th. But yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a good a good book. I'm excited. And it has a map, and you know me with maps. Look at this map. Like, isn't it gorgeous? I just love maps. Look, it even has like a picture right there. Ain't that neat? I don't think, I don't know if there's any pictures in it, in the actual story, probably not. But it still looks cute. Yeah, there ain't, there's just something at the end, there's like a picture. But yeah, it still looks good, it's um, just a little over 300, 333 pages, so that ain't bad. One more before we get into um, book outlet order. This one, I didn't get, I've never read... The first book, which is Fangirl, but it just didn't seem like like something I would read. But this one looks so fun. So I had to get this and see. Like, everybody talks about these books. So I was like, who knows? Maybe if I read this one, it'll make me want to read the other one. But right now, this, is, this one sounds like it'd be a lot better than Fangirl. I like where it says, you are the sun, and I was crushing into you, or crashing into you. Is there something there? No, okay, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, there is. Cool. Oh, wow, look at this. Hey, <laughs> that is neat. I like that. That is really neat. <laughs> I love when books do stuff like that. Let's see what else, if there's anything else I need to look at. I'm really excited to try this book. This is another one that I want to try to get to this month. It says book one. Look, there's a little picture. This one is, let's see. Five hundred and seventeen pages. This looks really good. Let me know if you guys read this, what you guys thought of it. It says, Simon Snow is the worst chosen one who, ha who ever been chosen. That's what his roommate Baz says. And Baz might be evil and a vampire and a complete git. Jit? Git? Yes, that's how you say it. But he's pretty right. Half the time, Simon can't even make his wand work. And the other half, he sets something on fire. His mentor avoids him. His girlfriend broke up with him. And there's a magic eating monster running around wearing Simon's face. Baz would be having a field day with all this if he were here. It's the last year at the Watford School of Magics. And Simon's infatuated Nemes doesn't even bother show up. Carry On is a ghost story, a love story, and a mystery. It has just as much kissing and talking as you expected from a rainbow raw 
novel, far, far more monsters. Come for the makeout and stay for the magic. <laughs> I like that, the Atlantis. Atlantis. This looks really cute. But I love the design on here. I didn't, like, I never paid attention to how pretty the, the cover art on this is. Like, it's gorgeous. Okay, now let's get into the big book out litter. And I have another one coming from book outlet that I just ordered yesterday. Because they had a bundle for one, I mean, they had like a, almost, I mean, they had like the first five books in a series that I've been wanting to read. In a bundle. So, okay. Now let's get into this. I don't even remember what some of this is that I got, you guys. Ooh, I forgot about this. I've been wanting to read this because I hear everybody talking about this series. So I said, why not? So, it is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. It says there's a special bonus short story inside. I'm sure everybody knows what this is about, so I'm not going to go into what it's about, but I love the little slipper. And I actually have this book on ebook, but you know me, I tell you guys all the time I'm not a really big ebook fan. But this looks like it's going to be cute, interesting. I'm all for it. So yeah, we'll see if I fall on the bandwagon. If I do, I'll buy the other ones. Alright, next one. Let's just dig in here. We will go with this one. Oh, this one I'm really excited for. It is Anna of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. Look at this. I wanted this copy. I've been wanting this copy. And I got it. I think it was like nine bucks. I mean, this is gorgeous. And it was when you got double the points. So that was going on. But, oh my gosh, I am so excited. This is another one I could read right now if I wanted to. I'm so excited about this one. I don't know what it is, but I'm just like overly excited about this book. I started reading this series when I was little and then I quit reading it. So I don't know how it ended. But this looks so cute says, looking forward to things is half the pleasure of them. Anna of Green Gables by, uh, yeah, I already said that. But they got like a little sticker. That's the only thing that drives me nuts are these stickers. Like there's one here and then there's one here. But yeah, I like the cute littleness. It looks like it, I like that it has this book belongs to. Of course, this is a classic. I'm not going to go into it. What it's about, because people should know what it's about. But yeah, it looks... Uh, I'm hoping that it lives up to what I remember. Because like I said, I started the, started it when I was young. And then, because my aunt, she used to have these. But then, you know, she we wound up not being able to go over there that much later. And she wound up getting rid of them. So I never got to finish the series. Or the book. So, I'm really excited. Like, I don't even know, like... Like, um, if this is, like, just certain ones, I don't know, like, how much this is. But it says there's, um, 38 chapters and 416. Chapter 38 is on 416, so it's a nice size book. Okay, what next? <laughs> I'm not gonna lift this and show you guys all when I'm done. We'll be here all day. Let's go with this one. I know, I am so weird getting this when I have never read the, I've only read this book, but I did like this book, so I figured, even if I don't continue on with the series, I want this book. I've been eyeing it for a while on Book Outlet, so I got it. Look at this, City of Bones. All the stories are true, I love the back, and I love this. Look at, it's a little messed up right here, but, you know, I'm not going to cry about it. I mean, it's just a little scuffled there. But you get what you pay for, right? And it was cheap. Oh, my gosh. I love this. I didn't even know, but, like, there are pictures in here. Like, it has Simon. I love Simon. I don't know, like, I'm probably, like, the, I don't know how, like, people are with him. But he's probably, like, my, 
my favorite character, him and um, Magnus Chase. I think that's his name, right? If I'm not mistaken. There's Clary. Oh, this is just so neat that it has pictures throughout. I didn't even know that. I probably did and just forgot. <laughs> this is neat. Like, this is going to make you really feel like you're in the story. I love this. Oh, look at Isabel. Oh, my God. Is she gorgeous? Isabel is beautiful. Man, Jace ain't what I picture him looking like. That ain't what I picture Jace looking like. There's Magnus. I was right, Magnus. But it's not Magnus Chase. It's Magnus Bane. <laughs> I don't know why I said Magnus Chase. Who the hell is Magnus Chase? <laughs> but anyway, look at that. I think because I was looking at something that had a chase or something in it. But oh my gosh, look at this. Like, just for this, the pictures is worth this book. <laughs> it does say it's a special edition, so. I guess you're supposed to get cute stuff in special edition, but look at the map! Map! Okay, let's put you over here because I'm running out of space over there. Okay, the next one we are going to get... We're down to the last three, you guys. Rebel of the Sands by A... I don't know how you say her last... Her first name. I'm not going to pronounce it because I'm going to ruin it, but... Hamilton was her last name. Now, I did read this one, but I can't remember if I liked it, so I want to reread it, and then, if I like it, continue on. But, oh, it's signed. Cool, did I see that? I got a signed copy. This is the first time, I think, in an order that I got a signed copy. This is neat. It has a cast of characters. Another map. And I'm excited about this, too. Yes, I can't wait to go to dive into this again. It says, Mortals World the Desert, Nation of Marja. Something like that. But Matthew. Mythical beasts still roam the wild in remote areas, and rumor has it it's some it has that somewhat dinja still perf perform their magics. Oh, and that somewhere dinja still perform their magic for humans. It's an unforgivable place, especially if you're poor, orphaned, or female. Amy, or Amy, 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 Amy. How do you say her name? L Z. Oza, some of that is all three. She's a gifted gunslinger with perfect aim, but she can't shoot her way out of the dust, out of dust walk. The back country town where she's destined to wind up, wed or dead. Then Amarni, Amani, Amani, how you say her name, meets Jin, and with his, with him, finally has a chance to escape. But though she spent years dreaming of leaving Dustwalk, she never imagined she'd gallop away on a mythical horse or that it would take a foreign fugitive to show her the heart of the desert she thought she knew. Rubble of Sands. Okay, let's go with this one next. And then we got Nowhere Girl by Susan Stacker. Stricker, Stracker, Stricker, something like that. It says, even after Savannah's murder, twins Caddy and Savannah share an unbreakable bond. I woke the next morning with the leather spilling off my chest onto the floor. Greg's side of the bed was neatly made, his reading glasses against his bedside table light, lit, I mean. The weight of my drink pushed against me, and I sat up, careful not to disturb the divert. Dovent? Duvent? Dovent? Something like that. D-U-V-E-T. I heard the shower shut off. Greg knew about my Savannah dreams, but I hadn't told him how told him how real they are. I mean, they were. He didn't know that every time she came to me, I woke with a slight depression on my side of the bed. Slight depression, you know, like a dent on my side of the bed, as if someone had been sitting next to me. It was there now, an indention, 
where a person might sit if they were watching you sleep. From nowhere, girl. It says, an author to watch. An abandoned house. I mean, in an abandoned house, 16-year-old Savannah Martino is strangled to death. The police rule Savannah's murder a random attack of opportunity, which prompts her small New Jersey town to set a curf curfew and cancel football games. Isolated and afraid, Savannah's sister, Caddy, continues to communicate with Savannah through dreams. Caddy knows Savannah is Savannah in ways no one else did. They shared eternal how we say that twin everyone knows thought was an angel. Wait a minute. Caddy knows Savannah is no way one else does. This beautiful Ethel how you say it, twin, everyone thought was an angel, was actually on the road to self-destruction. Years later, a chance encounter while Caddy is researching her latest novel, coincidence with an unexpected call from the once rookie cop on Savannah's case, Patrick Tooney. Now a detective who tells Caddy that Savannah, that Savannah's case had been reopened. Through new evidence, it had been determined that Savannah's death wasn't a random attack and that whoever killed her Sister loved her. Despite years of interviewing convicted killers, profilers, and psychiatrists, psychiatrists for her best-selling thriller, Caddy isn't prepared for the revelation that someone close to her could have killed her sister. Caddy is drawn into a labyrinth of deception and betrayal, reaching all the way back to her childhood, that will force her to find the strength she never knew she had in order to face the truth. That really looks good. And you guys know I'm participating participating in Buzz Wordathon. So I got a whole bunch now to choose from. This one's short. It's a little banged up on the edges, but like I said, you get what you paid for. A lot of these were like super cheap. I'll tell you how much I think it was like $38 for with the shipping and handling, which ain't bad, I don't think. But it's not even 300 pages so it's short and we got one more and this one i just got the the first one recently and it's a duology so now i can finish it up read the whole series at once i mean and that is the crown's fate by evelyn sky i'm not gonna tell you what it's about because you know i just know it's about a game and it's in russia i guess they gotta compete and only one can survive the other one dies, I guess. Not really sure. But it looks fair. I remember a lot of people liking it. And I've been wanting to read it for a long time. So, yeah. I'm really excited for the Crowns game. Maybe I'll get to that this month. Or in the next couple months. I'm trying not to make a TBR up for next month yet. Because, you know, Book Roast is going to be doing the Owls in April. So, I want to, like, try to fit the books that will... Go for whatever the challenges are. So once I know what her, um, you know, once it goes up, which should be in the next week or so, I think she said. Because she was showing, like, little hints on Facebook. Not Facebook. Why am I saying Facebook? On Twitter, excuse me. She was showing hints, like, showing, like, her because she's starting to get it all together and editing things. And, but, yeah, I'm so excited for that. But anyways, yeah. So I really want to try this and see if I like it because I have that. I forget what her newest one is, but I have it. So I want to read this series to see if I, what I think, or just duology. And it's really, I like the color and I love the cover. So yeah, I think it might be a good book. Of course, there's no map. That's the only bad thing. I like maps in my book because then you can look and like, ooh, okay, cool. But anyways, I'm sure it's still good. And there's... 417 pages, I believe. So, yeah. That is my huge book order. Between Book Outlet, Amazon, and I still have more coming. I have, um, I told you about another book outlet order that just shipped today or just getting ready to ship. I think they said, like, the 10th it was going to ship, so Monday. I'm not really sure. But, anyways. That's what's going on. And I also have my book out, I mean, my book of the month order coming. Book of the, book of the month? Yeah. So I still got more coming, you guys. So 
but I'll tell you what everything was. So for Anna of Green Gables, I spent $7.59. For Cinder, I spent $5.49. City of Bones was $9.79. Crown Fate, book two, was $4.39. Nowhere Girl was $5.49. And Rebel of Sands was $2.29. So it came up to $37.49 with tax. So yeah, I don't think that was bad. And like I said, it was during during um, double the points, which is always nice because now I finally, once it goes in, I'll have five dollars. So I'll get five dollars off my order, unless I keep a hold of it and try to get the two hundred points, which will be a while, <laughs> and then get a ten dollar one. But I'm probably just gonna do the five dollar one if there's like a there's this other um, box set that I want to get and I think it was like 25 or 30 so I'll get 20 like basically I'll be getting shipping free <laughs> so yeah that is it let me know what you what your favorite book that I showed you is or do you think would be your favorite um and let me know if you have any of these books, if you read any of them, what you thought about them. Oh, yeah. I'm really excited about Red Rising, you guys, because I've never read it, and I've just heard so much about it. But I think I'm going to save that, try to save that for next month, if it will fit into um, Book Rose's um, readathon. Even if it don't, I'll probably save it for next month. I think next month I'm going to try to read a lot of um, adult books because I would like to read um, uh, was it Name of the Wind I would like to read um, that one you know Red Rising I would like to read what else do I have on my shelf I have one of the Brandon Sanders ones on my shelf so I want to read that I can't think of the name of it right off the top of my head but I got that one I still have to finish um, the one me and book baby, 88, Ashley, are reading together because we put it down for right now. Can't remember what it's called on the top of my head. But yeah, we are reading that and then we put it down and got involved in other books. So yeah. But I think that is it. I know this is longer than I've been making videos lately. But yeah. Let me know if you guys are getting any orders. I mean, any books. And if so, what books? And if not, let me know, like, maybe if you go to the library, what book did you recently get from the library? Yeah, uh, curious minds want to know. But if you like this video, remember, thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, if you do subscribe, to hit the bell icon so you'll know whenever a video of mine is being uploaded for your enjoyment. And remember, if you ever need anybody, I am here. Just comment down below and I'll get back to you. I love you all. And till later. Bye for now. Mm, love you all. Toodles.